battery technology has really changed a lot over the past few years since we've used those first small cordless screwdrivers. Those started off as being NICAD batteries, then we changed technology to nickel metal high drive, to finally mostly everything we use now is lithium ion. So let's go ahead, take a look under the hood and show you how these work. So let's take a look and see what's inside some of these batteries. So some of the old ones that we used to use simply had two pins, positive and negative, and they'd tie into a group of cells in the bottom arranged in order to get a specific voltage. Very, very simple, but outdated technology. In today's world, we have that same grouping of cells, but we also have a circuit board on top. And what this does is it gives us better use of the cells. It's more efficient. It helps the tool from overheating or causing an issue. It also gives us something as simple as the display on the front to show us how much of a charge is left. But all this can get a little confusing. We see 18 volt, we see 12 volt. What does it all really mean? If we look at this, we can see we have five cells in here, 3.6 volts each, totaling 18 volts. If you look inside this one, we have three cells, same thing, 3.6 volts each, even though it's a 12 volt rated battery. Uh, that only adds up to 10.8. How does that make sense? Well, let's grab a meter. We'll take a look at some of these batteries and give you an explanation. So let's start by taking our meter and putting it on one of the 20 volt rated batteries. We'll put one terminal on the negative, one on the positive, and we get 20.67 volts, about what we should expect. And just keep in mind, this battery is fully charged and hasn't been used at all yet. Let's take a look at one of the 18 volt rated batteries. We do the same thing, 20.27 volts. So why does the 20 volt battery show 20 volts like we expect, and then the 18 volt battery shows 20 volts like we wouldn't expect, we would think it would show 18. It's because they all basically have the same cells in them. The cells are rated 3.6 volts, but when you completely charge them, they actually have four volts to them. So in this battery where it has five cells that should add up to 18, and when it's fully charged and has not been used and is not under load, will show 20. Now that we know what the voltage is, the next big difference is amp hours. Amp hour is basically the amount of current that's available for this. So we can see with this, this is a two amp hour rated battery. We have our five cells. In this configuration, it's giving us our 18 usable volts, two amp hours. Same manufacturer, double the cells, same voltage at 18 volts, four amp hours. Twice the output can be run in a larger tool or run for a longer period of time. So an example is using a cordless drill like this. This current one has an eight amp hour battery in it will run for a really, really long time, give us plenty of power. But they make a bigger version that's really meant for larger tools. It does fit, you can use it, but I can't imagine holding this all day and trying to drill holes or use anything. It's way too heavy, it's just overkill and not necessary. Batteries like this are really meant for bigger tools like the table saws, circular saws, other large cordless things. So if we put a small battery in this, Yes, it'll turn, but it really won't be able to do anything. It needs the power, the amp hours behind this battery to actually let it operate. So let's load these batteries in, grab a piece of wood and show you what we mean. So we can see these two batteries fully charged, unused at all. And if we turn them, we can see they're both the same rating, 18 volts. But obviously you can tell one is significantly larger than the other. This one's meant for heavier duty tools like this. This something more for a smaller drill, but let's show you how this actually works. So we'll install it into the drill and see just how far we can get. <laughs> As you can see, on high speed, not very far. Same voltage will work in the tool, but we just don't have the power we need to actually make this work. We'll leave this right where it is. We'll take this one out. We'll put the battery that's really made for this tool in. Let's see what we get now. What a difference. So you can see the difference in using the smaller 18 volt battery versus the larger 18 volt battery. Even though it operates the same drill, the amp hours are nowhere near the same. You really need something like this to turn the drill like this. Uh, I know this is a drastic comparison. You normally wouldn't use this in this type of drill, but I wanted to show the difference in why you have those ratings going from anywhere from two all the way up to 12, some larger. So when you're picking something in the middle, you know what you're picking and you hopefully know what you're gonna really get out of it. Homeowners don't necessarily need to go crazy with some of these drills or some of these batteries. A lot of the simple 12 to 24 volt systems will work just fine. But there are occasions where you're gonna need something bigger and you may see something bigger out there, especially if you have something like 
an electric lawnmower. With that being said, it's really amazing how far things have come since I used that first cordless screwdriver that could barely install a receptacle. And now with technology evolving the way it is, who knows what's to come in the future. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.